Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Watermelon Mojito Granita. Well today we're whipping up a frosty treat for these hot summer days, it's granita. Now granita is an Italian semi-frozen dessert that's agitated as it freezes so it creates this great crystal structure that then just kind of melts in your mouth. As far as flavoring goes on your granita, there's all kinds of options. So I've chosen two of the other things that I think go great with summer. The first one being watermelon, which we're going to caramelize on the grill, and the other one, mojitos. Hence the watermelon mojito granita. It's a beautiful trifecta of summertime goodness. So I'm gonna start by slicing some roughly inch thick slabs out of this watermelon. You wanna end up with about eight cups of diced watermelon in the end which also works out to about six pounds of watermelon with the rind on. Two or three good slices should be enough. Now we're going straight to the grill with our watermelon and today we're cooking on the Odor Smokers YS640S pellet grill. We're running hickory pellets and it's set to 500 degrees but what that really means is it's just constantly feeding pellets now to give us the maximum amount of heat. So the temperature in there right now is actually over 675 degrees. This thing's putting off some serious heat right now. We're gonna slide our grill grates right over that flame. And then the watermelon's going right over the firebox. Now I'm not trying to break down the watermelon at all, so I'm gonna leave the lid open so all of that heat can escape once it's hit the surface of the watermelon. All right, it's time to give these a flip. Starting to get some caramelization on here. Just a little bit of grill marks is all we're looking for. Is this a necessary part of this whole process? Probably not, but you know we grill everything, so why not? At the same time, we're also going to be making a little simple syrup. So we're going to take a third of a cup of water. I'm going to add to that a third of a cup of our maple smoked turbinado sugar. So you got equal parts now, sugar and water. And then we're going to flavor this with some mint. So that's just a half ounce package of fresh mint. Kind of muddle that in. And then we'll cook this down until all that sugar's dissolved. And now you've got your mint simple syrup, which has got us headed toward mojitos. All right, watermelon's coming off now. Our sugar's mostly melted. I'm just gonna bring this up to a simmer real quick. All right, simple syrup has come off the grill. So here's the thing that we're gonna do that's maybe not totally necessary, but we're gonna blitz this down first before we blend everything else. The reason being, I don't really want big chunks of mint in my granita. If you don't mind that, you can just throw it in the pitcher with everything else. So we'll just let this go on the Vitamix until those mint leaves are totally broken down. Now if you like, you can strain that or you can just leave that little bit of texture that's in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and dice down all of our watermelon, and make sure we've got a full eight cups. So don't worry about all those seeds in there. We're gonna gently blend this, not to the point where we pulverize the seeds, just enough to make this into a puree, and then we'll strain the seeds out. So now we're gonna transfer this over to our blender and break it down gently. Again, we're not trying to pulverize the seeds in here, we're just trying to break everything down. So start slow. And then once it's looking fairly smooth, that's it. And then we're just gonna strain this off to get rid of those seeds. So we are fully strained and juiced now. Let's get the rest of the ingredients for the granita. So to finish out our mojito, we're gonna need some lime juice, we're gonna need some light rum, uh, and then we're just gonna add a pinch of salt to this. We'll give it a taste, see where it's at, uh, and we can bring everything together. 
So I'm gonna do juice of about two limes. You really want about six to eight tablespoons. I'm just gonna use this kind of as a gauge, as a measuring cup here. This is a half cup and we're just shy of that. So that's gonna be perfect. Pour that right into our watermelon along with our mint simple syrup. Leave some of that texture in there. Now we're gonna do a half cup of our white rum. If you're making this for the kids, just leave the rum out. You don't need it. Or you can put it in with your simple syrup and cook off the alcohol. Give a little mix before we go too far. Let's get just a little bit of salt in here as well. I'm talking like a quarter teaspoon. Just cause salt helps to draw all kinds of flavors. Flavor enhancer. Stir this for just a minute to let that salt dissolve and then we'll get a taste. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's not too sweet. If you like it really sweet, you probably want to go a little bit heavier on the simple syrup, but for my taste, that's just right. So now you want this in a thin layer so that it can freeze quickly. I'm gonna do it in a full-size foil pan because I know this will fit in our deep freeze, but if you've got to work with just a small freezer, you probably want to do multiple smaller pans like those little baking dishes and just kind of stack them crisscross in there. But this needs to go into the freezer now, probably for the next three hours before we start to agitate with the fork. It's been three hours now, so we're going to go ahead and give it our first scrape with the fork. So here in the middle, probably have a bit more liquid than we do out here at the edges. But this is all there is to it now. I'm just going to start scraping this stuff up. And then you just want to mix it around so that the edges Maybe get worked into the center where some of that liquid is and vice versa. So you can kind of see that flaky crystal structure I was talking about. Almost looks like flaked sea salt. At this point, we're just gonna throw this back into the freezer, let it freeze a little bit more and repeat the process in about an hour. And really probably won't take much more than that to just be ready to consume but we started one of these yesterday and i'm going to go pull that out of the freezer now so you can see what it looks like when it's finished so here's the stuff we started yesterday i've already started breaking some of this up We're getting it nice and fluffy like snow almost here's the uh, stuff that's been sitting now overnight you can see the chunks are a bit bigger so we're just going to break those down and kind of mash them to our desired consistency all right, I am going to serve some up in our little stimulus wine glass. If you're doing this for the adults, maybe just a, another little splash of rum right there on top. What do you say? Should we do it? Let's do it. Just a little bit. Oh, watch it cave in. Garnish with a few blueberries. Just take a little sprig of mint and that look nice. Time to taste it. Mmm. I gotta tell you, it's like 90 something degrees on this patio and this is incre incredibly refreshing. Watermelon forward, obviously. Big mint flavor in there though. Can't even really taste the rum, which is dangerous. It's got a nice tang to it. It's not too sweet, but boy, it just melts in your mouth. And the fresh fruit's a nice little touch there at the end. That's a refreshing, that's a refreshing summer treat. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.